in-depth report. Tonight, KXAN investigates a double murder and kidnapping in the Texas Hill Country, and we uncover new information that could have a major impact on the upcoming trial. People in San Saba say the killing of Bonnie Harkey was all about greed, an alleged murder for hire involving a pecan fortune and some deep family secrets, chilling secrets that still haunt some of the people involved. Just outside of San Saba, a stone's throw from peace and quiet, sits the town of Harkeyville, the namesake of the Harkey family, known for its multi-million dollar pecan farms. Today there are no Harkeys left on the farm. They're all either dead or in jail, charged with murder. Uh, one of the sweetest ladies I ever knew and uh, also one of the best. She wouldn't miss church. Known as the pecan queen of San Saba, Bonnie Harkey was getting old. Her husband Riley had passed away and she relied on a caretaker, Karen Johnson, to get around. At 85, Bonnie didn't have many years left, but tragically, those who knew her say her family just couldn't wait for her to die. She was very good to everybody she knew. Too good to these people that took advantage of her. So one Sunday, while Bonnie was at church, her grandson, Carl Presley, broke into her home and waited for his grandmother to return. As a signal, Presley's girlfriend rang the doorbell, and when the caretaker came to the door, Presley snuck up behind her and killed her, and then kidnapped his grandmother. Presley was in custody hours later, confessing to the crimes and remorseful. He did uh, say he was sorry uh, repeatedly. He asked me to forgive him, uh, made comments about burning in hell for the actions that he did. Presley brought investigators to this campground in Leon County where he admits to holding his grandmother's head underwater and burying her body here in the shallow grave, covering her with leaves. Autopsy reports indicate Bonnie Harkey may have been buried alive. Presley and his girlfriend Lillian King are now facing charges in multiple counties. There's so many different offenses that were committed here. But almost immediately, Carl Presley told investigators a bizarre story. While admitting to the kidnapping and murders, Presley says he only did it because his uncle, Bruce Harkey, paid him to do it. And there was a payment uh, made to Carl Presley, and uh, of course there were some arrangements to be made that further payment would be made to Carl Presley for killing uh, Bonnie Harkey. He's been indicted for murder, uh, for solicitation, that's not capital murder. Bruce Harkey was Bonnie Harkey's stepson. He's also a former cop and investigator with the Attorney General's office. And he was set to inherit a large portion of the family fortune when Bonnie died. Those close to Bonnie say she was afraid of Bruce. And they were mean. And they were so greedy. Bruce Harkey called me from behind bars to tell me he's innocent. And his nephew, Carl Presley, is a liar. I didn't have a damn thing to do with finding that woman in any way. I don't feel guilty because Carl's not a human being. He is the living epitome of evil. Investigators say the motive is pure greed. Bruce, they say, was feeling the pressure from years of past due child support. And the family pecan fortune was his way out. His adamant denial is no surprise to them. Bruce Harkey would not confess to anything that he had done wrong. Still, it seems hard to believe a man would pay his own nephew to kill his own stepmother. Hard to believe until you look at Bruce Harkey's past, and we did. And it turns out, this is not the first time he's been accused of solicitation of murder. He said he would kill me, they would never implicate him. Turns out that was true. It was very true. He tried to have me killed. That is Bruce Harkey's eighth wife. She's been in hiding from him for years. We found her. What she told us could have a major impact on Bruce Harkey's upcoming trial. Her story after this.